Well, good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Well, good afternoon and greetings from Luxembourg, ladies and gentlemen. And um, thank you very much for your time and interest in, uh, in joining us. And thank you to Vice President Sefcovic and indeed to Diego Pavia of Inno Energy for today's meeting and indeed organizing this press conference. We all know batteries are considered to be in some ways the missing link in the, in the green energy transition. And indeed, it's hard to think of Europe's transition into a, into a greener economy without the development of state-of-the-art energy storage. Already today, batteries are contributing to the decarbonization of our industrial processes, and they hold the key for further low-carbon technologies. In order to harness this potential, we need to develop an independent European battery ecosystem. This would allow the union to play an important role in a market that is projected to grow to 250 billion a year by 2025. Additionally, a secure local battery capacity would boost the European automotive industry in particular and safeguard thousands of jobs. The COVID-19 crisis has indeed highlighted Europe's vulnerability to interruptions in the supply of critical materials and technologies. Most battery components are currently manufactured outside of the EU, either by domestic or international producers. Especially car makers in Europe suffer from severe disruptions to their supply chains because of the pandemic. But European car manufacturers had to lower their production even before the COVID-19 crisis because they ran short on occasion of supplies of battery cells. So as the green energy transition accelerates, Creating a European battery industry is vital to protect Europe's competitive position in the world economy. With the support of the European Battery Alliance, the European Investment Bank is significantly stepping up our financing of all stages of the battery value chain, from research and development, raw materials extraction and processing, through to battery production, e-charging infrastructure, and end-of-life recycling. Concretely, I'm happy to announce that this means that this year we expect to confirm our battering, uh, to confirm our backing of battery related projects to more than 1 billion of financing this year alone. Now, just to put this into context, this is about the same amount that we put into battery projects over the last decade. This said, batteries really only became a major priority for the European Investment Bank. Uh, in 2017 with the launch of the European Battery Alliance. Uh, the EIB support uh, benefits from our successful partnership with the European Commission. It has been, it, it, the Commission have enabled new financing instruments such as the Innofin Energy Demonstration Projects. This initiative to facilitate the demonstration phase of innovative energy projects was badly needed, and it includes a number of battery pilot lines as well. I have to also say that the, the, the coordination that's taking place, even within the private sector of the European Battery Alliance, is very helpful from a banking perspective. Indeed, that coordination helps de-risk a lot of projects from both an offtake perspective in terms of uh, securing buyers for, for end usage, as well as from a raw material supply perspective, which is obviously key elements of the financial risk of any battery related project. So it's been very important from a, a, a credit assessment perspective. To this end, please allow me just to bring three more figures uh, to you to, to kind of gauge the significance of what we're now doing in this field. So the production capacity of EIB battery cell projects those already approved or signed, and indeed those in the pipeline under appraisal, now stands at 51 uh, gigawatts per hour. This compares to a current annual production of just 49 uh, gigawatts in the European Union. Uh, and so you see, in order to get to the independent battery uh, ecosystem that we're all aiming for, we clearly have to put in a, quite a lot of work in, in finishing the appraisal of these projects but I'm convinced we can do it, and the EIB is certainly ready to take on this challenge. Finally, I'd just like to acknowledge again the immense contribution I believe Vice President Sefcovic has made to the development of um, a modern 21st century industrial policy in, an, in a strategic technology 
that's going to be vital to Europe's competitiveness and growth in the 21st century. And I think uh, that leadership is going to pay strong dividends to the European recovery in the coming months and years. Thank you very much, Vice President. Many thanks, Vice President McDowell. Now we can uh, take your questions. If you wish to pose a question, please raise your hand in the system. Also, when you take the floor, please state your name, the media you are representing, and also to whom your question is addressed. <laughs> 